The snow is certainly adding to the holiday cheer, something the city of Westbrook has been trying to bring to its downtown area this month. And the efforts of the public service crews are catching a lot of attention. If you've driven through downtown Westbrook lately, you've probably noticed some big changes. Get up. But one of the newest is not necessarily the largest. I think we nailed it pretty good. New this year, a massive Christmas tree on Main Street. No one in the state of Maine that I know of has a tree like this. So. City arborist Doug Eaton is in charge of making it look perfect. It's just little things like that that we like, oh man, we should really straighten that up. We should really kind of, you know, take that and fluff that up a little bit. It's tough. Type A personality. I'm, I'm, uh, How bad is it? it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> oh yeah. So bad, he knows all 175,000 bulbs by heart. It's tree number 64, strand number two, bulb 34. I said, you can't see it, it's out. Oops. This year, Doug and his public services team are going bigger than ever before. Why? Well, who doesn't like lights? $75,000 from the city budget meant they could add more decorations throughout the city. I, I felt great. I'm not sure if my crew felt great, but I felt great. Inside this tree, there's 2,000 pounds of granite holding it in place to make sure it doesn't blow over in a storm. That's what you get when you have a 30-foot tall tree with a 6-foot tall star on top. And if you think it's impressive during the day, then you should see it at night. Look at it. It's magical. Just down the street, there are lines to see the spectacle at Riverbank Park. Wow, this is awesome. Pamela Steves and her family say they come from Gorham every night. Um, oh my God, oh, this is I so know. nice. That's a lot of work. Rita Rondo's daughter drove her here from Bethel. I just love it. I, I cannot take my eyes off of Gorham, Wyndham, Portland, Manchester, New Hampshire. You know, it benefits the city tremendously um, to be able to, to show what we're doing here in the community. We want people to come here. We want people to dine. We want people to shop. We want people to stay. Extra effort, noticed and appreciated. Anyone who is responsible for this, please know how happy you've made people. Doug wanted to make sure that everybody knows it's not just him, it's the whole crew. Um, and one thing they said is really cool, they plan on adding even more lights down in like the Rock Row area in the oh years gosh. ahead. Uh, so yeah, it's been a, a passion project for him and hopefully for his team as well. It's oh, been a lot of fun to see. I love it. And it really does make a difference when you're driving through at nighttime. Yep. The bright lights just Every single person down. I talked to said the same thing. They said it makes me happy. They said they even got some thank you notes from some nurses during the pandemic when they had started oh. doing this, saying, you know, I just, I really needed this. I had a tough yeah. shift. So thanks for doing That's it. Awesome. So yeah.